Hello, Terraria Enthusiast. Man, I, uh, I just can't get over how good that intro mod really is. I don't know if it's, like, very egotistic or just a little strange to come into Terraria, hear my own intro, and feel very excited. It's weird, isn't it? I can't get over it. It's good, though. Hey, welcome back. My name is James, and, uh... Man, I've really messed up that intro. I've got it all backwards. Uh, my name's James. Welcome to... All right, okay, tick that off. Uh, well, welcome to Chippy's Couch. All right, that's next on the list. Uh, summoning Adventure. And then we're done. All right, template done. That's it. That's the video. Um, but no. Hey, welcome back. We're back for another day of our summoning adventure. And today I'm really excited. So for those who have not had the chance to, uh, to keep up recently... In today's episode, we are taking on, once again, the Hive Mind. Now, this was a boss that, uh, that for me, always brought back nostalgia. And also one that we fought yesterday, and unfortunately, uh, we actually lost to. Now, I do believe there are some very small tweaks that we can do today that should bag us the win. Uh, but that's why I'm excited, because I really love... The hive mind. I, I love it. I think it's a fun fight. I think it's good all around. Um, so, and I didn't expect to get into this so quickly. Let's actually do it. So, for this fight, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm actually going to be using the crabs, right? So, yesterday we ended up using uh, Belladonna and, and stuff like that. And although Belladonna was uh, was very powerful, so was the, the little Violators. I do feel like for these stationary moments... The cramps might actually be our best bet. That is when they want to attack. So it's going to be a case of, um, just like before, just respawning them in and, and kind of letting them do their thing. Because right now, like, you can see that the boss is, uh, is highlighted, but they don't want to attack. That's the crab way. It's it's definitely the, uh, the trade-off that you get with them. It's not... Here's the thing. I'm making it sound like this is an intentional thing. They're like, well, they're very powerful, but they're not very good AI. That's not what went into this. It's just that they have bad AI, and I'm, I like the damage, so I'm kind of winging with it. Do you know what I mean? It's got to be like those, like, I don't know. I think of medieval soldiers. I think of those big those big dudes, you know, with the giant swords, the long swords. Come on. It's not very practical, but when it lands, you know it lands, right? I'm sure you can all relate to that. I don't know what I'm on about. Medieval dudes, long swords. It's got to be a Chippy's Couch video, right? We're, we're already settling in. So, uh, it's Tuesday today, right? I'm, I was quite looking forward to saying Tuesday on a Tuesday. Um, yeah, I'm really liking the, the English meme. It was funny yesterday, like, popping out some English words for you lot, and then seeing what you lot have to say about it. It was, it was good fun. Um, yeah, wow. Um, the high mind fight is going alright. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna rely on these crabs for a good bulk of the fight. Now, I noticed yesterday that towards the uh, the end of the fight, things start getting a lot, lot, lot more uh, chaotic in terms of spawns and such. Like, there's worms, and there's, uh, there's those things that are like dank summons or whatever. So when those are spawning in, uh, so there you go, a worm just popped up. When those start spawning in, we might move over to, like, uh, the Belladonna, since it has a... Well, the Belladonna is good with, with, with just big crowds. So it might be good. These are the moments that really work for the, the crabs. When we're moving, like, away from the boss, like, left to right. And uh, and they kind of manage to do their thing. Like, now, watch that. It's like a Beyblade. Do you lot remember Beyblades? Do they still make Beyblades? I reckon they probably do. Right? There's definitely some corporation out there banking off of Beyblades. I used to love Beyblades when I was, like, a young kid. Like, there really was, like, an area in my... Um, in my, like, infant school, like, a little, a little, like, dome in the ground where everybody would, like, play with their Beyblades. And we used to be, like, pretty, like, pretty mean about it. Like, I remember it would, you would, you would play to win, right? It was, like, six-year-old gambling. But, you know, if you lost, you lost. <laughs> so, it was good fun. But if I remember right, Beyblades were, like, at least when they were popular in, in my school, they were dirt cheap. Like, you would get them from, from Poundland. <laughs> so, it wasn't like we were, like, you know... We weren't risking too much, you know, our life went on the line, right? I didn't lose- whoa, my god, all right. So we're definitely further into the fight than yesterday, because I don't remember Cloudmageddon, right? 
<laughs> I don't remember that much of a rainy day, and I'm from England. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is definitely the part of the fight, though, where I start to lose all my uh, IQ points. All right, they've gone down the drain. Mainly because uh, I've just got to focus on moving backwards and forwards. The good thing about this fight, though, is if we win, we do actually get a, uh, a new armor set. We can uh, start getting Era Light and stuff. Okay, I I'm being overly cautious as well because uh, we take full damage. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Crabs, crabs, crabs. <laughs> crabs, thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, there we go. <laughs> Okay. Ah, <sighs> can you believe we actually beat it? It's one of those episodes. We've peaked five minutes in. I'm gonna be honest, right? I looked back at an old video last night. So I used the OG Hive Mind sprite in the thumbnail uh, because it was the sprite that we used in the very first thumbnail of Chippy's Couch. I get nostalgic and that kind of fella. Um. But I went back and I actually looked at the episode where I fought it for the first time and I didn't do very well. And it's so funny how like the original Couch Gang, before Couch Gang was, was really established, people riled into me about losing that fight. And I remember like apologizing for it in the next episode, like, I'm really sorry, I'll let you all down. Man, how times have changed, right? We've got the bestest bunch around now on the channel. God, things are brutal. Things are brutal. Okay. The hive mind. A hive of clustered microbial infected flesh. Nice. Sounds like the big toe. I do not believe killing it will lessen the corruption here. Favorite this item for all of your projectiles to inflict cursed flames when in the corruption. However, enemy spawn rates will be greatly reduced while in the corruption due to your overwhelmingly putrid odor. Favorite this item. All of your projectiles, cursed flames, in the corruption... Let's slap it on. Let's keep it. Why not? I mean, is that not two for two? Enemy spawn rates are reduced and you're also stronger. I don't know about that one. So what do we get? We got the filthy glove. Uh, stealth strikes have 10% armor penetration. All right. True shadow scales. We got the shade thrower, which is like a pre-hard mode flame thrower. We got the shadow drop staff. Also another banger. Rotten Brain. 10% increased damage when below 75% life. 5% increased, uh, sorry, decreased movement speed. Shade Rain when you get hit. And we also got some, some Rogue Balls. Um, Rot Balls. <laughs> okay. Um, no comment. No comment. Um, so there we go. Now, the good thing is, is with these True Shadow Scales, it actually opens up the doors to, yeah, a lot of stuff. Um... For me, the Knight's Ray stands out. This is a, a mage weapon. A very famous weapon on the channel, I have to say. Everybody likes the, the Knight's Ray. Uh, but there is, a, there is a summoning weapon that we can make, and it's the Dank Staff. Um, so let's go make it. It's the Dankest of Staffs. Uh, if I remember right, it's like little, um, little spiked balls. Um, that's right. That's what it is. It's little spiked balls that float around and, uh, and do stuff. So that's good. Uh, so yeah, it's 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 Tuesday. Um, I'm having a good morning so far. It is actually morning, which is which is nice. You may have noticed that the past two episodes have gone up at, at weird times. I've been uh, basically getting my my life back in order ever since the the devastating release of the the PlayStation Five. I won't lie to you. I just got sucked into gaming, right? <laughs> so I've been staying up super late, waking up a little bit later, and and all that, and. Kind of putting off work for a little bit, but today I woke up early, even though I had a late night, and I feel great. I don't know if that's because I just drank a, a mug of coffee from the mug of champions or what, um, but I'm feeling good, and, and everything's back in order, so that's nice. Today's actually going to be a, a pretty big day for me as well. I'm actually going to get down all the, the Christmas decorations today, which is going to be fun. I, I really like putting up Christmas decorations. I know some people find it a little bit tedious, but I really do enjoy it. Um, and I've got some good ones. The thing about me is I like to add to my collection very slowly over the years. So I've lived, um, away from, from home now for five or six Christmases. So I'm getting a pretty stacked collection of Christmas items, which is nice, which is very nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's dump this all into here, say goodbye to all that, and then we will make the dankest of staffs. 
Why can't we make it? We can't make it because... Yeah. Oh, a demon altar. Really? Does anybody remember what item it is that you need to dump in to uh, to get the the demon altar as part of your crafting thing? I can never remember it. And uh, and I always strive to. All right, let me just double check. Dank staff is rotten chunks. Uh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, this, this new armor that we've got to make is basically made from... Um, from stuff that you find in floating islands. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably end up... Wait, do you find the ore in floating islands? Does it say here, the ground is glittering with cyan light? Okay. But I think what you do need is you need... Um, you need like feathers, you know? Feather worthy and all that. Yeah, you need feathers and, and such. So that's something to grab. All right. This is my pylon system. What do you think? <laughs> Not so great, right? Oh, so uh, I do have a request from uh, from all of you. I feel bad because I ask you lot for a lot, right? <laughs> well, you're here every day, and and that is a lot. But here's my request, right? I've had to do this a few times over the years. Could you please enable notifications on the the channel? I, I'm growing concerned. Weirdly, I don't. It's it's weird. YouTube is it's such a weird mind game. It really shouldn't be. But basically, everything was going well. Let me let me tell you the story. Every episode was doing well. We were, we had fifty thousand people here every day, and then randomly out of nowhere, just fifteen thousand people less. And then every episode since then, fifteen thousand people less. And I'm like, that is a significant amount. So either some real world event is happening, maybe you're a lot of busy. I don't know. Well, if you're listening to this, you're not. So it's hard to talk about because it's like. I want to talk about it, but I know that the people that are listening are already the people that are not having issues. But I, I always get paranoid that YouTube's like, okay, um, we're just going to... I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but if you could, could you enable notifications? It means a lot. It really, really helps out as well. Um, okay. That's my, that's my TED talk. What do you think? Right? Would you book me again? I hope so. Oh, YouTube, man. YouTube is great. It really is. Just a few little small tweaks, and I'd love it even more. Uh, so what I'm going to grab is I'm going to grab Grav. So the very first thing we're going to do is probably farm for the feathers. And also, it's going to give us a really good opportunity to, to grab some accessories as well. So, uh, for example, hoping for... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I always forget about this. But there is uh, this planetoids in the Calamity mod. Oh, yeah. If you've never played Calamity before, you're probably like, what is going on? Um, yeah, I really want Lucky Horseshoe. Uh, I really want a, a cloud in a bottle, stuff like that. Sorry, I want a balloon to, to mix together. You know the drill. Yeah, these planetoids are, are pretty good. If you get a Grav Potion early on, you can get a, a fair bit of loot. Like that stone one there more than likely has, um, has a life crystal in it. And there's like a, a central hub one that has some, some extra stuff in it. It's all good fun. It's, it's good. So I think how it works, though, is the world is actually taller than a regular Terraria world to, to compensate. It's really well done, in my opinion. Like, it is pretty pretty legit. I'm going to add, uh, as meant to this with the other one, but I'm going to add a torch just because uh, throughout the series, we're going to have so many different NPCs moving in and out. You know, Calamity adds a bunch. Terraria clearly has a lot. So it's a, it's a good way to, to get some free spawns in. So we found two so far, so just just one more would be good, you know? Balloon, please. That's the good thing about Calamity, though, is that, uh, is that we can always just make a balloon. That's the coolest part. Ooh, okay, so this is going to be for tomorrow's episode. So this, for those that have never played Calamity before, is a special Crimson Island. And the game basically adds that in so that you can do the uh, Crimson Alternative of the Hive Mind called the Perforators. I find the Perforators to be a little bit more challenging. So uh, that's going to be fun to do tomorrow. No rush though. I always find it so annoying. I may uh, go onto a different world and actually just make the, the summoning device. This is like a thing every time we play Calamity. But I'll always go to do the Perforators and then the Perforators won't spawn in. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a pain. All right. Uh, okay, so that is that side done. Let's go do this side. Uh, we don't have long left, so hopefully we find it fast. 
Oh, so uh, this is the big main one. And it's actually, it's actually had some, some tweaks. Is that a sentry gun? Is that what that is? Are you not meant to, to go in? Is it guarded? Really? All right, let's go do it. Let's go do it. All right, let's kill this uh, harpy there. We need, we need all the feathers we can get. <laughs> we need him. All right, let's, let's head inside. Let's go check this out. Ah, so it is guarded. Wow. Okay. That sound is, is awful. So can you not... Uh, can you not disable them? Can you not defeat them? Let's see how hard they hit. Oh my god. Do they not count as weapons? Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Alright, we're bailing on that. <laughs> if you've got any tips, do let me know. Because I am actually curious on how you uh, you beat them. Interesting, interesting. Oh, so this is the uh, the summoner one. All right, so we need one feather, two feathers, uh, two more. So we need five. Look how mad this feather crown looks, by the way. Like, that looks looks really cool. Uh, so we've already got five, so we're good to go with that. So I guess we, we quickly go mine some, and then we'll... Actually, wait, what other ingredients do you need? Because uh, it's probably... Oh, you need cloud and stuff. All right. Well, maybe we'll just grab the, the aerolite for now. Uh, but I probably will go and uh, and get Spelunker tomorrow. Sorry, not Spelunker. I'll probably go get all the cloud stuff tomorrow because I do want the uh, accessories that, that we can make, you know, using all the, the sky stuff. So I, uh, I don't know if it's had uh, a sprite change. Like, <laughs> my memory is not that good. Uh, but basically, this is this is Aerolite. Kind of looks a bit like uh, like lead. That's what that's how I imagine lead. Even though that's lead, right? Is that lead? God, <laughs> how did I ever get this far as a Terraria channel? Oh, so uh, one thing I wanted to talk about is uh, is actually Minecraft. Now I can't talk about the event specifically because uh, it's still like very hush hush. But basically, I signed up to do uh, a Minecraft event in December, which I am really, really looking forward to. But I did kind of lie and say that I was better at Minecraft than I actually am. Because I barely know how to, to play Minecraft. You may have seen, but I did a, a very short series about... A, oh, it's, it's a long time ago, about a year and a half ago. Um, yeah, we only did about seven episodes. It didn't. It didn't really do very well. So I kind of. I kind of axed it off. Uh, so I'm gonna relearn how to play Minecraft at some point this week. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a full day off, um, and just spend the whole day playing Minecraft. Now I wrote a little uh, community post up on Chippy Gaming, and people were just kind of posting tips and memes, which is not really what I wanted. What I wanted was. I'm gonna ask you a lot for this as well. What what goals should I have in mind? Are there bosses to beat? Are there things that Minecraft players just should know how to do? Uh, let me know. Uh, leave me a comment because I am I am super curious. I mean, I played the the first half of the Harry Potter Minecraft mod, which I absolutely loved, but that wasn't very Minecraft. That was more just Harry Potter. Which we are going to do a second part of very soon. I keep forgetting. I apologize. It's going to look good as well because we've got the, the new graphics card. Um, but yeah, so if you've got any tips, do let me know. Because um, it's going to be a mad day. I'm going to record it uh, and probably mash something into a video, right? Just like let people know what I did in a day. Which I imagine won't be a lot. So I don't know how good of a video it'll be. But that'll like at least justify me taking a full day off for it. All right, so fingers crossed we get a balloon. Hell yeah. Menacing as well. That that hits well. <laughs> Has a good find. All right, let me just grab the, the cloud real quick. And uh, and then we should be good to, to make new armor. Yeah, that's good. This has been a, a really great day for upgrades. Like, we're moving armor. We got the dankest of staffs and uh, better movement accessories. So, I guess going into the perforators... Yeah, we're going to be good. That's, that's what's the weirdest thing. Like, I say the perforators is harder. I always go into the perforators using um, hive mind gear. So that kind of shows where I'm where I'm at with it, you know? This is good as well. Because, like, where I found this floating island, we just have to drop off a little bit. And then we'll uh, we'll reach the, the bed to fall asleep in. 
All right, that's, that's got to be enough. Actually, I'm going to go with 30 rain clouds just in case. Just a little bit paranoid. All right, so first thing is the cloud in a balloon. Uh, and then we want the, uh, the upgrade to that. So we're going to get the blue horseshoe balloon. Uh, great, you know, absolute banger of an item. And then Aerolite Bars. So this, this armor is called Aero Spec. Okay, that's good to know. So why can't I make any? Oh, because of the, the Sky Mill. All right. I should have remembered that. Because I grabbed... I, I subconsciously grabbed this Sky Mill. Usually I would, I would leave it behind. But I did grab it thinking, oh yeah, like we're going to use that. Um, Aero Spec. Okay, so we'll make the Breastplate. Thank you very much. Uh, leggings. Thank you very much. And then which one was... It was this one. It's uh, the helmet. All right. So let's see what we uh, transition from. So right now we have 11 defense. And the set bonus is this uh, star on top. So we go to 16 defense. Set bonus is summons a Valkyrie to protect you. Taking over 25 damage in one hit will cause the spread of homing feathers to fall. Allows you to fall more quickly and disables fall damage. And look at that. It's clearly like a re-sprited Fire Imp, but I absolutely love it. The new sprite on that is a banger. So right now we have this Guardian. We have the Fungal Clump, three of the Dankest Staffs. We're looking amazing. Maybe I can actually take this off now and appreciate like what we've got. It's really weird that it has a coat. Is it the scarf doing that? Like what's, what's causing that effect there where it's... Is it my vanity sticking out underneath? Do I? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Maybe we could find a little fix for that, because that would be sick if we could. It's kind of hidden on that one. I never, I never really noticed until now. I guess it looks, yeah, it looks all part of a cloak. It's, it's kind of odd. Yeah, I'd like, I'd, I'd like a fix for that. That would be cool. Maybe if I, nah, it still doesn't look right. But very, very, very cool. I like it. So for today, that is, uh, that's going to be it. Thank you a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, so there will be an episode tomorrow. Tomorrow won't be my uh, day off to play Minecraft. But I think maybe like the day after, something like that. I'll probably let you know in advance. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to give the video a big fat thumbs up. There are only a limited number of days left on the new merch. So make sure to go check out the shop. See if there's uh, anything for you. Something you might like. Uh, that would uh, be much appreciated and of course supports the channel. Shout out as always to our channel members that are scrolling by on screen right now. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.